friends. I'm sitting in my office answering some emails. Then I'm going to go run some errands and then go see Cashew. So first, before we go see Cashew, I want to tell you what happened. So he got hurt and it literally was the saddest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I wanted to cry. As my trainer was, you know, blending him with the other horses since he's new to the barn and they opened the pastures to let them all like be together and a couple of the horses started chasing Cashew and it was really muddy because it just rained and so Cashew was trying to get away from them but like one of his um, like hooves got stuck in the mud so we think that he like sprained an ankle or like the equivalent to sprain an ankle um, or like pulled a little muscle and so he was limping like I'll put in a little clip of how he was standing a few days ago. It was like the saddest thing ever just because like horse injuries can be really serious. Like sometimes if they break their leg in a certain area, like there's no coming back from that. Um, but like honestly, even if like this industry, this injury wouldn't allow me to ever ride him again, I wouldn't care. Like I don't have cashew to ride horses i have cashew because i want to be his best friend like i just want to have that connection with him and i just want to take care and love him like that is what i'm trying to get out of having a horse so like i would i would take care of him anyways like i would make it work um so we're still trying we're still like you know gonna see how it goes how it heals um, he started walking better, like he's not limping as much, so that's progress. I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna go check on him today. I might go brush him. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I probably won't walk him just because I want him to heal a little bit longer. Um, but we're gonna go to the barn and say hi. And yeah. But first, I'm gonna finish answering some emails and doing some work stuff. So before I go to the barn, I'm gonna make a little lunch. I'm probably gonna make some like ground beef or something like that. Um, and I'm having this kombucha. It's my first time having it. It's really good. It's ginger cayenne. I've been like obsessed with cayenne pepper recently. I've been making this like cayenne honey um, vinaigrette dressing for my salads and it's really good. Anyways, I really like this. You should go try it. So one thing that I've learned about just health in general is that like your gut microbiome is so important, so crucial. Um, it helps you fight all of the bad bacteria that can make you sick. Um, and after like just years of taking antibiotics and not, you know, having yogurt after like they tell you, like I just never took it seriously because I didn't understand. I feel like after years of doing that, it just messes up your system and so I've been learning a lot about like rebuilding your gut and introducing good bacteria into your microbiome um, and so kombucha is one of my favorite ways to do that I used to have like a spoonful of sauerkraut sometimes I'll do it but sometimes I just like I hated doing it because I didn't like it so then I found myself like trying to avoid it at all costs and so kombucha is one of my favorite ways because it tastes good it's like a little drink um it's another thing oh right now I'm not having any dairy because of candida that's another thing I haven't updated you on that okay before I go on a whole tangent about candida and I have to update you guys about that uh, my body feels like it's a mess right now but it's okay figure it out um another way I like to get my probiotics in is this coco june coconut yogurt it has a bunch of live active cultures um and it's really good so I'll do that and then I take the Saqqara probiotics I actually just got this liquid probiotic from Mary Ruth Organics and I was going to start putting that into my protein shakes or into like just things like that um, just to help add some more. Okay, so my poor gut health and my overuse of antibiotics throughout my life and not, you know, putting the good bacteria back in, it ties hand in hand with candida. 
candida it's a lot easier for it to grow when it doesn't have the right bacteria the right good bacteria to fight it and then since i was exposed to mold mold and candida they're like best friends they're two peas in a pod partners in crime and so since i have mold toxicity it's easy for candida to grow and since i didn't have the right you know healthy good gut bacteria to fight off any of that it was perfect storm so y'all i'm back on the candida diet i'm gonna put you up really quick while i make my lunch so i always get asked about my recipes and i'm pretty simple to be honest with most things like sometimes i feel bad like sharing it because it's literally just like a few ingredients um but for my ground beef i'm just putting on some garlic salt and some pepper if I was like trying to make this taste really good, I would just chop up some onions and some fresh garlic. I add yellow onions to like pretty much every single meal and I just think it makes it taste really good. But I just want to get out to the barn so I'm just going to eat this really quick. back from riding horses i didn't ride cashew because he's not feeling the best um so i rode a horse named prince and it was good to get back there and just exercise all of the little tools that i learned um because i haven't taken like a horse ride lesson in a long time so it was fun to get back up there i was a little bit nervous but it was good the horse really took care of me um but i'll give the update on cashew he's doing better his limp isn't as bad thank the lord um, so yeah, but anyways, right now I'm about to go on a walk with my cousin Dallas. We are going to go to this really pretty trail here in Nashville. Um, so yeah, before I go, I want to show you my outfit. So, this is the bodysuit I'm wearing. wearing. It's from Aritzia. It like fits so good. It just like snatches the waist. Um, and it has this like cute little zipper detail and then I have this hat. I think I got it from Urban. I don't remember did I or Brandy um, And then my Solomon shoes the XTX. I'm gonna fill up the water and then get going off at home and now I'm gonna go to the grocery store I think I'm gonna make like a steak and a salad tonight I'm really feeling like red meat for some reason you guys know I'm back on the candida diet I'm gonna buy a bunch of like candida safe ingredients um, I like found a bunch of recipes on Pinterest that I'm gonna make so yeah just a normal grocery run
Michael and I are gonna do some spring cleaning today. Um, we're both gonna go through our closets. I have so much to get rid of. Um, I have a bunch of packages to open. I want to deep clean the house. We took off the um, globes to all like our, you know, lighting, and we're gonna clean them because they're all dusty and gross. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be one big clean day. It's raining outside, so it's a perfect day to do this. It was. It's been like super sunny and warm yesterday and the day before, um, so I didn't want to like clean or anything. So I've had this plan for an entire week. We're finally getting it done. This little kitty right here. It's just been trying to get up on the counter and eat all the food in the sink. Crazy girl. I'm gonna show you a before of my closet. Currently the shelves are just like bursting at the seam. <laughs> and I have too many shirts. A big pile of new clothes that I just bought and nowhere to put them. So, I'm going to just go through all this stuff, put it in a giveaway pile, and we'll be good to go. Michael's currently a hot boxing me in here. He just farted. It's your cooking, babe. I Okay, so this is the mountain of clothes that I'm giving away. <laughs> There's so much. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the update on the closet. So we got that looking all nice. All organized. Looking better over there. Went through all of like my dresses and vacation wear. I still feel like I have too many sweatshirts, but I just feel like I can't get rid of them. So, it's just going to stay super crowded. Um, went through all my bottoms too. Still really crowded, but I just don't want to get rid of some stuff. Because I'm like, what if I want to wear it again, you know? Guys, I'm going to close out my vlog here. I just finished my closet. I'm so tired. That literally took all day. I have three giant contractor bags full of clothes um so i'm just gonna make dinner clean up get ready for bed and yeah guys i love you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye